Hello, it's been another year. It's close to the end of 2018. Earlier this week was the ITP IMA end of semester show. ITP and IMA are a graduate and undergraduate program here at Tisch School of the Arts, New York University. So many students made so many amazing and wonderful projects. There's a long two and a half hour live stream of me wandering around the entire thing that you can watch. But what you're about to see is a highlight reel of a bunch of those projects. So. Um, thank you, special thank you to Jenny Lim for holding the camera, <laughs> camera during this long live stream and also to Mathieu Blanchette for always doing such a wonderful job editing stuff on the coding train. Happy holidays, happy new year, see ya in 2019. Okay, uh, my name is Tushar, I'm from India and this is a voice synthesizer which makes music from your voice and it's not a normal synth that you can play music on. You sort of collaborate with the synth and you say, okay, make me some music using these three or four notes and then the synth gives you what it feels like today. So I record my voice. And then... So there's uh, an element of my voice in there. There's also a synth. It's called the Wo synth, voice and synth set together. And of, of course, the drums is drums. So that's not from my. I'm Ashley Lewis. Uh, I made Lost and Found bots. Um, and so they're these little robots that feel lost without one another. And when you connect their hands, they feel found. So these are them. So you can see their little faces say lost. And then when you connect their hands, you have to bring them really close like they're hugging. And then they'll feel found. But it's a prototype for a bigger project. I want a little robot society uh -huh. where there are like 10 and you can connect their hands in duos or trios to find out right. what, their, what their like rules of their society are and how they operate socially. My name is Stefan. Uh, my partner is Julia Rich. Uh, unfortunately, they are not here right now, but I can do my best to explain uh, on my own. It's a, an interactive uh, alien garden, so the idea is that it's sort of a, a discovery experience. The so users will come and, and touch things, it's very tactile, and, uh, and uh, just discover different interactions. I'm Jenny, I'm from Taiwan, and my background is UI UX designer. Uh, Morgan, I'm from Reno, Nevada, and my background is electrical engineering. Uh, and this is called Reverie Fields. It's kind of a self-reflection experience where the user is prompted to think about a memory and then the emotions associated with that memory. And then through the use of the hand panel, kind of transcend those emotions in the memory into lights and manipulate the lights accordingly. You are now entering a safe and calming space. Think of a memory that has been on your mind lately. Please, take a moment to focus on it. Uh, my name is Guillermo Montesinos, and this, is project, this project is a collaboration with Sofia Suazo. Uh, we develop an AR and AI theremin that you can play, but it, it is not here, and you, can, you can't see it, and you can't touch it, but you can also play it. So this is a, like a, a two two person to, to and it's kind of interactive because uh, the person there is playing it and listening to the theremin and the other one can see the theremin and listen to the play. My name is Chegu and this is project called the Focus Helper. It is uh, based on idea that how to reduce misunderstanding in conversation. So I want to make people really private space, so just focus on their opponents. So and inside of this product, it has a magnifying lens and mics. And if you close to your person, it focuses on their face and then it magnifies their faces. And you can hear more clearly the voice of the uh, partner or opponent. Yes. I'm 
Eva. <laughs> I'm a first year at ITP and um, I created a project about dyslexia. So I wanted to create a project that would uh, bring up the frustrations that dyslexics face See. while learning a language. So I created an alphabet and had uh, having people read and write in this language that I made. Over the headphones, it'll D. say the letter um, that you're scanning, and so you can kind of decode A. the language. And then when you're ready, you can scan in the right section and F. you can write any word that you want. Uh, my name is Marcela. Uh, I'm from Brazil, and well, my project is called Imersa. It's a sculpture that builds itself when you're there with it for it to happen. Uh, basically, I was thinking about my relationship with like coming here and everything that happened, having to connect with a lot of people, and especially after what, what's happening in my country, uh, how hard it was for me to try to talk to people about it and uh, try to create some empathy or something. So yeah, that's basically it. Hi. Um Jasper from China, and uh, our project is called Fangbing Puppies. We are trying to show the relationship between people and smartphones. I'll put the phone here. They will all be attracted by our smartphone and keep moving their heads up and down. We are doing a metric for to showing the relationship between uh, people and smartphone. You see puppy moving their heads up and down just like we constantly checking the message from our smartphone. And uh, once you remove the phone, they will back to normal life, just like this. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Um, Pluto is a life-size flute. And when you blow into your phone, the balls in the flutes go up. If you talk into the microphone really loudly or you blow, then they go up. Oh, I'm Joe Baker. and. Uh, this is my fan. I was inspired by uh, the Japanese folding fans. So I decided just to make a really large one and make it express itself through uh, you know, visuals and communicate with the uh, you know, digital world. Hi, I'm Emily. Um, I'm from Los Angeles. And uh, this is an interactive about how we can power our days using solar cell. And um, it tries to also detail some of the complexities of that process. So this is the intro page, but we can power days, and there are four different modules that people can experience. And one of the complexities is the voltage generated. Um, it's the voltage that can be generated from the solar panels, and you can see the relation of um, between the position of the house and the angle of the light, and how that makes a difference. My name is Sukanya, and the project is called Merry Go Sound. So there's eight spindles. And there are these discs which have a sort of pattern on them and um, each spindle is assigned a different sound. So as you place the discs and try different combinations, you can generate different melodies and different patterns and rhythms. I'm Sarah. I'm from Boston or Brookline. People, yeah, but <laughs> I'm Aporva. I'm from Chicago. Our project <laughs> is an interactive solar system. And what you would do is you would first, you have your little rocket ship and you can select any planet that you want to look at and then you pick up this little controller and then move it around and that will kind can we of... try one? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah, and then that will control the rotation of the planet. It's working so well. Yeah. I'm Xiao Tong from China. Yeah. And this is my project and this is a sound instrument and you can trigger sound and also change the pitch at the same time. Like you can see the water is decreasing, <laughs> and the pitch will be different. I'm Sachiko Nakajima from Japan. I'm a first year ITP student, and this is uh, my ICM project. So you can make uh, paintings by a sound. So like. Uh, Something like this. So, uh, so different timber uh, generates different color, and the size of the yeah paint is uh, been, uh, based on the amplitude. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Effie, and I'm showing my nine new interface for music expression class project. Uh, my music instrument is called the War Fan, and then is a human body scale folding fan that opens up in two directions. I'm going to show you. This is one direction. This is the other direction. And then with the sensors attached to it, there's a accelerometer and a contact mic. It's picking up acoustic sound and then uh, sending signals to the computer and then making um, different sound effects and synthesized music. Uh, I'm Billy Bennett and this is the Sand Ocean as you said. So I basically suspended sand above a speaker and the speaker vibrates the air which moves the sand and in interesting patterns and stuff. Different notes will kind of make it move more or less depending on how it resonates. Low notes move the sand more, so, wow. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, I'm Matarva. Hi, I'm Arnab. Lillian. All right, so what did you make? Yes, uh, we made this thing, which is the mystery machine. Uh, it's a set of six to seven puzzles, depending on how you play it. And there's a backstory to it about cat videos. So there's an evil guy, Orion, who's created this virus to destroy all cat videos on the internet. and we have a friend, Mr. Grotsky, who wrote the antivirus to that to save all the cat videos inside this machine. So we want to plug the machine in, solve all of the puzzles, and make sure we have cat videos for the eternity. Hi, my name is Elvin, and this is a project that I did, and the name of it is called Space Between Us. It's a lighting installation, and it's composed of two separate screens on each side. And as what I was saying, um, both sides there have uh, one side is a window, and the other side is a mirror. Hey, uh, my name is Haik. This project is called Invisible Orchestra. We made it with my colleague, Brent. Uh, so this is actually a touchless musical instrument, which is designed for performing artists to incorporate this with their uh, performances. So it basically creates music with your body movement and gestures. Uh, 